Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Tana Quincy, uh, means Rainbow Girl, and I come from the Hopi tribe. Um, yeah, I wanted to sing the song for everyone, and I've been practicing all sorts of, sorts of music, I mean songs, um, ground dance songs, powwow songs, um, healing songs, but they're not mine. Um, I do sing it for talking circles and other for other people, you know, that need a lot of healing because I was told that, you know, singing brings a lot of healing and comfort, you know. But um, for so long, when I was a little girl, I was 12 years old, um, I found my talent and that talent was singing. And I started singing a lot and, you know, just embracing that kind of gift to everyone. And it has really taught me a lot, you know. Um, I just wanted to share also to the women out there, you know, who are grieving and lost a loved one. It may be a partner or, you know, a family member <clears throat> or anybody close to you that you lost. You know, I'm so sorry, you know, you you lost a loved one and I too am going through something like that. And um, I lost my baby girl. Um, she was full term and she was almost at the end date you know meaning she was almost to be here on earth with us and um but she had to leave soon and um so i know that you know she's in a better place and we named her bolimana means butterfly girl and um you know things happen for a reason you know i I fully accepted things in my life that, you know, creator had to take her, you know, that she was needed up there is how it, I would say. But, um, you know, I, I still need a lot of healing in my walk. And with that, you know, I had shared a lot of songs with other people and, um, you know, it really had brought them out of their shell where they too could, you know, start singing and finding their way and their walk so and with that being said i don't want to talk that very long but um here it goes i would bring out the drum but the drum is i can't sing it i can't use a drum during this time of month so we're in december now and this time of month for us hopis we can't be you know drumming we can't be out at night um we can't you know uh what was that other thing we can't be cutting hair all these other things that we have to respect in order for you know the the un the you know the it's for the um the ones that have passed on into the other world and it's their time to be walking around on this earth now and so i can't use the drum this month until we get our prayer for this and you know the ceremony that goes on at the village so <clears throat> here it goes this one's called the elder song and it is a round dance no a powwow song and i learned this from the youtube so if you guys ever want to learn certain things there's the youtube and it's always out open out there in the community you know and to native americans and whoever wants to you know tag along with singing but um i i will sing some songs for you guys and that i've learned and you know yeah okay <clears throat> Hey, oh, 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 hey,
This one I learned apparently from my son, and my son, he's Hopi too, full-blooded, and um, he taught me how to sing this, you know, a, a prayer song too, and it's one of the songs from his school that teach them the words, the songs, and, you know, the, the Hopi way of life. And I was surprised, you know, like, it, as young as he is, he is six years old. And, you know, he he has a passion for learning things in a Hopi way. And, you know, praying and talking to plants. And, you know, as young as he is, you know, he's really teaching me a lot, too, to be reminded, you know, to be teaching these certain ways, you know. And they always say, you know, the young ones are the purest ones of all. And they're the ones with the, with the, full mindedness. You know, they 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 see things on the unseen and the seen world. And um, so this is how he sing it to me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, 
one of my housemates here. She um she was spraying the doors. <laughs> but um yeah, you know learning the songs for me had really brought me out of my shell and my comfort zone. Singing to other people from different tribes, non natives, you know, it it really brought light to me of how it really healed them and found their talent, you know, of singing. Um, and with other people, you know, showing me the songs and the teachings of it, you know, singing in the sweat lodge with it. Um, you know, it, it it's a good medicine, you know, and it's for, for me, what I was taught is you pray you pray in the songs to your creator and the creator will be reminded well us will be reminded i'm sorry and for him to know that you know we're singing to him praising him it's our connection to him as well um but yeah i just and if you guys have any questions you know let me know on the comment below and um kind of a little bit shy but you know uh i just wanted to share two songs and um just send me a comment and a suggestion if you want me to practice a song or you know uh, teach me the ways to you know i'm always ears open and always ready to learn and listen you know um but yeah thank you and a from the doorway in, the doorway out to all my relations out there. Thank you. <laughs>